there and welcome to today's instant pot video i am super excited to share this one with you today i don't know about you but i love instant pot meals they are just super simple to make and it's pretty much one pot meals and it's easy cleanup. I owned an instant pot for about six months. I was terrified of it. I did not even take it out of the box, but I finally took it out of the box about a year ago and I started cooking in it and I absolutely love it and I recommend it. But anyways, today's video is all about the instant pot. So I'm going to be showing you some meals right now. I hope you guys all enjoy it. And if you are new here, I'd love to have you over at my channel. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video, but let's get cooking. To get us started off, we're just making some Instant Pot White Chicken Chili. I actually showed this recipe previously on one of my What's For Dinner videos, but it's just that good. I wanted to share it again. So to my Instant Pot, I have my wire trivet in there, and then I added a cup of water followed by my two frozen chicken breasts. You could also just use non-frozen chicken breasts. That will work fine. I just seasoned it with a little bit of some salt and pepper. And then here's Brinley. She was being super goofy while I was filming all of these recipes, so you'll see quite a bit of her in this video. Anyways, I just plopped the top on and cooked this on high pressure for about 20 minutes. Just remember, if you don't have frozen chicken breasts, just lower your cooking time to about 12 minutes. Anyways, once they were cooked, I just shredded it with two forks. Now I'm adding in my four ounces of cream cheese. I did cut these down into smaller blocks just so that they melt down a little bit easier. Now I'm adding in my can of drained and rinsed white beans along with pinto beans. And next you're gonna be adding in your can of creamed corn followed by your water. This is just two cups of water and then your cup of salsa. And then for the ranch dressing, I know this is such a weird part, but you're adding in a third cup of some creamy ranch dressing. This will make this recipe super duper delicious and a little bit more flavorful than other recipes. Anyways, now I'm adding a little sprinkle of cayenne pepper and then some onion powder. And then you're just going to mix this all up with some chili powder. One last thing I don't want to forget to mention is I also added in a fourth a cup of some milk. You could just add in some heavy cream if that's what you prefer. Then I set it on high pressure for 20 minutes with a quick release. Here we are about 20 minutes later. You do want to make sure that you whisk everything together because your blocks of cream cheese will still be blocks. But trust me, just whisk it together and it will turn out perfect. And then here's my big bowl of soup. This is such a good recipe. It's honestly one of my favorites. I just love it and everybody in my family devours it. Now we're going to make a creamy pasta and beef dish. This one is also really good. So to my Instant Pot, I'm just pouring about a tablespoon of some olive oil in there. I'm adding one chopped onion. I just chopped it up into smaller pieces just like this. And then you're gonna wanna stir it around for about three minutes just to soften those onions. Now that my onions are softer, I just added in my pound of ground beef. You are probably wondering at this point how my onions got soft. Well, I didn't mention this before, but I had the saute button on my Instant Pot, so you wanna make sure you turn your saute button on for at least 10 minutes. Now that my ground beef is cooked through, I just drain the grease with this paper towel. This is my favorite way of draining grease. It gets it every time. Not many people like bland dinners, so we're gonna begin to season this up. I'm just adding a tablespoon of some Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of salt, a dash of pepper. You could add more pepper if you guys love pepper, a teaspoon of some garlic powder, and then also if you love crushed red pepper flakes, go ahead and add a fourth a teaspoon of that. And then we're also gonna be adding a tablespoon of some tomato paste in at this point. And then you're going to just mix this all together until that tomato paste melts down. Now I'm adding in my 12 ounces of bow tie pasta noodles. You wanna make sure you do not stir anything else at this point. You just want everything to sit on each other. And then you're going to be adding in a jar of 24 ounces of pasta sauce. Just use any type of pasta sauce you like and then three cups of water. Again, if any of your pasta noodles are sticking up, just poke them down with a spoon, but make sure you do not stir anything until this meal is complete. I just put this on high pressure for about six minutes with a quick release. Mm -hmm. 
Now you are officially able to finally stir this. So I gave this a really good stir and now you're gonna start to make this creamy. I'm just adding in my three tablespoons of cream cheese along with my cup of Parmesan cheese. And then you could either use milk or some heavy cream. I used about a half a cup of some whole milk and then you're just gonna stir this to combine. Here is my big bowl of my pasta all plated up. This came out super delicious and flavorful. Plus it was so quick and easy to make. So I highly recommend this one. I just sprinkled it with a little bit of basil leaves for color and some Parmesan cheese. Now I'm showing you this instant pot creamy chicken noodle soup, but it's better than chicken noodle soup in my opinion. So I'm just starting out by dicing up three carrots into smaller pieces. I did peel these carrots first. You just want them in little tiny cubes just like this. You could also use two ribs of celery for this recipe. Unfortunately, my store was all out of celery, so I just opted out of that and I just diced up an onion instead. So here I am just dicing up one medium size yellow onion into smaller pieces. Over here at my Instant Pot, I have one pound of chicken breast. This is a frozen chicken breast. I just forgot to get it out in time. The great thing about the Instant Pot is you could put frozen chicken in there and it will come out great. I added in our carrots, our onion, and a cup of frozen spinach, along with my four cups of chicken broth. To add some flavor to the soup, I'm just adding in a teaspoon of parsley, a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of thyme, a fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of some black pepper. And then I just stirred this to the best of my ability. I just put the lid on this and set it to ceiling. You always want this little lever set to the ceiling button. I put this on high pressure for about 18 minutes because I had a frozen chicken breast. If your chicken is not frozen, put it on for about 15 minutes. I also did a quick release for this. If you don't know what a quick release is, it is just turning the lever on top as soon as the timer goes off to vent. So that's what a quick release is. Now I'm just shredding up the chicken with my little shredder gadget here. Now you're gonna want your Instant Pot on saute mode at this point and you're gonna add back in your shredded chicken followed by a cup of this orzo and you're gonna wanna just stir this all together until your orzo gets totally cooked the way you like your pasta to be cooked. It took me about eight minutes. While our pasta is cooking, we're gonna be making a cornstarch slurry. So all my cornstarch slurry is right now is a cup of milk along with two tablespoons of cornstarch and you're just going to whisk this together so it's not lumpy. Now that we have our orzo completely cooked, I added in our cornstarch slurry and I just mixed this all together until it was at the thickness that I like my soup to be. We really like our soup a little bit thicker in this house, so I let this simmer for a little while longer, about 10 more minutes. Here is my bowl of soup. I just sprinkled it on top with some sharp cheddar cheese and some parsley flakes. This came out so, so delicious. It is a great recipe for fall. Fall is upon us this year. Anyways, my daughter Brinley loved the carrots and the chicken out of this. Everybody loves a good old burrito bowl, so we're making some chicken burrito bowl. So to begin, of course, in my Instant Pot, I'm just adding a tablespoon of some olive oil in there along with one chopped white onion. This was a smaller onion, and I'm just gonna stir this around for about three minutes on saute mode. Mm -hmm. 
Now that my onion is soft and getting to be translucent, I'm just going to be adding in my two cloves of garlic and I'm just gonna stir this for about 30 seconds until that becomes fragrant. You wanna be careful because it is super easy to burn garlic. So now we're gonna season this with a little bit of chili powder and cumin. I just added a little bit of both and I'm just going to stir this around once again. For the chicken broth, I'm just adding in a fourth a cup of chicken broth. Altogether, we have a cup and a half of chicken broth right here, but again, you're only gonna be adding in a fourth a cup at this point. You're gonna stir this all together. You want all the bits off of the bottom of your Instant Pot. You wanna make sure you do that because you don't want anything stuck to the bottom of your Instant Pot. Then you're gonna be adding in your pound of chicken along with your cup of salsa and your cup of frozen corn. Next, you're gonna be adding in a can of drained and rinsed black beans. Just give this a really good stir so all those flavors infuse together. If any of these Instant Pot recipes seem difficult to you, you know, don't you worry. These are all super, super easy. And if you ever have any questions about them, just go ahead and ask me in the comments down below. I just love chatting with you. Anyways, now I'm adding in my cup of white rice in here. And then on top of that, you're gonna be adding the remainder of your chicken broth. Then you're not gonna wanna stir this. Again, you don't wanna stir this recipe either you're just going to plop the lid on and set it to sealing for 15 minutes with another quick release and here is our finished product your chicken is not going to be shredded at this point so you're going to want to go ahead and shred it i'm just shredding it with my wooden spoon Here is our finished product. If you're a jalapeno fan or anything like that, that would go delicious in this recipe. So go ahead and add that in for some added flavor, but this one came out super yummy. I don't know about you, but broccoli cheddar soup is definitely a comfort food to me. So that's what we're gonna be making now. Into my food processor, I'm just adding three carrots in there and I'm just going to be chopping these up. You kind of want them to be matchstick size, but I just made them really super duper small so my daughter didn't even notice them in the soup. Go ahead and chop up one yellow onion into smaller pieces. For our broccoli, I'm just chopping up four cups of some broccoli. You want it to be small. It's pretty much the equivalent to two heads of broccoli. Into my Instant Pot, I have it on saute mode. That's where the saute button is if you are wondering. I'm just adding in two tablespoons of butter. Once that butter is melted down, I'm just adding in my diced up onion and I'm just going to stir this around and let it get soft. You're gonna see a baby hand right here. Brinley was wanting to help me stir. She was being a little bit more needy while I was making this dish, but that was totally fine. I love holding her. Anyways, now that the onions are softer, I'm just going to be adding in my four cloves of garlic. Now that my garlic is fragrant, I'm just adding in my four cups of vegetable broth. Like I said before, it is super duper easy to burn your garlic, especially in the Instant Pot, so just keep an eye on it. I'm just sprinkling a little bit of some salt and pepper to taste in there, and now I'm just going to be adding in our chopped up carrots along with our broccoli. This Instant Pot recipe, you are definitely allowed to stir it before you put the lid on, so here we are stirring this again. This might be the quickest Instant Pot recipe of all time. This just goes on high pressure for two minutes. I know that might seem crazy, but it does the job. Now that my Instant Pot is doing a quick release, we're gonna start on our cornstarch mixture. All this is is a fourth a cup of cornstarch and a fourth a cup of cold water whisked together. 
To my Instant Pot, I'm just adding in our cornstarch slurry. You're also going to be adding in your cheese at this point. I'm just adding in two cups of some sharp cheddar cheese. You're also going to be adding in your cream. So I added in a cup of some heavy whipping cream in a cup of milk. I think that gives this recipe extreme richness and extreme yumminess. I just had it on saute mode at this point. I had it on saute mode for about 10 minutes just so it got super duper thick. Here's my bowl of soup. I just sprinkled it with some parsley flakes and some sharp cheddar cheese. This one came out super delicious and creamy. I just love thick and creamy soups like this. This one was a total hit. I do want to mention I have all of these recipes linked down below in my description box. And that is a wrap of this Instant Pot video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and got plenty of some Instant Pot meal inspiration. I would love to have all of you over at my channel, so go ahead and subscribe down below the video. But I will see you guys in my next video like this. Bye for now.